Well, there's a particular photograph that I have that I consider my, my, my I, I, the word best is hard to use because it's of a tragic moment. And it's of the uh, political funeral of John Greenberg. And it happened on, in July of 1993. And James Baggett and, uh, and his fellow activists went to Reardon Funeral Home on 14th Street in New York City, picked up the casket of John Greenberg, who was a, an activist. John wanted a political funeral. And so James Baggett and his friends, they went and picked up the casket. And they walked out the door with the damn thing. And they walked you know, down First Avenue and across 8th Street over to to Tompkins Square Park and set out the casket and opened it and did a eulogy for the guy there. And yeah, I mean, it was like a stunning moment to be part of such a thing as a political funeral. And um, there's my, my, the picture that I sort of am most proud of and I think that really kind of embodies the, the tragedy and the suffering and the determination of, of AIDS activists and, and AIDS is my photograph of holding the casket um, and you see this clenched jaw on James Baggett's face. You get to see this clenched, Fist, the determination on his face, you know, to honor his friend, uh, the pain that, of course, he's suffering, uh, having lost a good friend and a fellow activist. And you knew as a, as a photographer that your opportunity and your duty was to really go in there and make the strongest pictures possible. And I'm very, very proud of that photograph that I made. So when you think about that photograph, that political funeral, and what did it sound like? Because, of course, you're in the middle of New York City, and like every savvy activist, they staged this to be like a five o'clock right at rush hour. So there was cars honking, people are pissed off. Um, of course, there's this intense grief that's happening amongst the activists. So there's this kind of deafening silence coming from the people who are actually involved in it, which is contrasted with the noise of New York City at five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Me as a photographer, concentrating and experiencing and being intuitive for that event, people looking out their windows and yelling, hey, what the fuck's going on? All that kind of stuff, you know? And so there's this very bizarre kind of sound that, that was a contrast between the silence of the people who were participating, the silence of the journalists, the photographers, the artists, and the noise of the city that's happening all around them.